The embryo stage is defined as the first trimester. It begins with the formation of germ layers and extra embryonic support structures like the placenta, umbilical cord, yolk sac, etc. One of the most crucial developments is neural tube formation. This is a tube within the center of the ectoderm forming the brain and spinal cord while the lateral sides of the ectoderm wrap around the other layers below to form the body. You can see the nerves off of the spinal cord in this side view. Weeks three through eight. The neural tube forms in the third week. This is only the week after the mother's first missed period, most often before the mother knows she's pregnant. Folic acid is critical for this tube to form. The fourth week, arm buds are starting to form and the circulatory system begins to coordinate with the heart. Critical eye structures are also formed. The fifth week is identified by paddle-like hands with no identifiable fingers, only slight ridges. Here we can see the finger development from five weeks to six weeks to seven weeks. The sixth week, you can see black spots where the eyes are as the retina forms. Limb development continues and differentiation of brain regions begins. The seventh and eighth weeks begin to appear more baby-like as the limbs look more normal, ears are seen, and the tail bud is gone. The nervous system begins to operate as the embryo starts to make jerky type movements sporadically. After the embryo stage where all the organs are created, the rest of the term is the fetal stage. This lasts for 30 more weeks. This time is focused on growth, specialization of spotty structures, and organs. In the 9th to 11 week, the face still has a flat appearance with eyes farther apart than normal. Ossification centers begin, but bones won't be visible on x-ray for another 4 to 5 weeks. By the end of the 12th week, you can determine the sex of the fetus by ultrasound as external genitalia is now present. Coordinated kicking movements begin during this time, but the fetus is still too small to be felt. The 13th through 16th weeks show more facial features including eyelashes. Rapid growth occurs during the next several weeks. By the 16th week, bones are ossified and can be seen on x-ray. The fetal heart rate can also be heard at this time. These last several weeks mark further growth and adaptations to life in a liquid bubble. After the 26th week, the fetus can survive if born, but there may be long-term effects of such an early departure from the uterus. There are two types of twins. Identical twins are called monozygotic twins because they are formed from the same zygote and therefore have the same DNA. The other type of twin is called fraternal twins. This is where two different eggs get fertilized by two different sperm. These babies are as different as any other siblings, they just happen to be in the uterus at the same time. In this diagram you can see fraternal twins on the left with separate eggs and sperm. On the right, you can see a single egg and sperm. The embryo blast inside the blastocyst splits into two. This will make two babies with identical DNA. If the embryo blast does not separate entirely, this type of twin can be conjoined. Identical twins share a placenta and chorion, but have separate amniotic sacs. Fraternal twins are entirely separate with their own placenta, their own chorion, and their own amniotic sacs. These babies are not different than any other brother and sister, except for they just have the same birthday.